Hello, everyone. It is a great privilege and honor for me, George Elliot Clark, to share in the celebration of the legacy of Gloria Clark Bayless as someone, uh, one of the elect among us, who bothered to take a stand in favor of equality, justice, and liberty for all of her brethren and sistren citizens of this great country. And so my tribute is this poem, a salute to Gloria Clark Bayless, Canadian human rights pioneer. The heroes not abundantly obvious, often. She's proud, but magnanimous. A beauty, yes, but indescribably angry. The reason her polite fury is the only credible repost to the Queen Elizabeth Hotel's irrevocably obscene rejection of her, Gloria Clark Bayless's application to be one of two nurses in September 1964. She submitted her credentials, but a hotel aide committed perjury, lying that the jobs were filled. Worse, her application wasn't kept. White as blank verse, this dude made Montreal a pair, a city of segregation, racial and linguistic. Pity? Gloria Bayless? Nope. Bayesian by birth. She'd always championed equality. She chose to fight the disgrace of the then Hilton Hotel's act of discrimination. She telephoned the Negro Citizenship Association, whose aid included lawyer Gerald Charnas, he of B'nai B'rith of Ange augmented brightness. At the 1965 trial, the Hilton chain said, we're ignorant of what our underling did, and still, maybe he was right, since Mrs. Bayless speaks only English. But Advocate Charnas revealed that Bayless had worked years in French as a nurse, and he dug at Hilton as if digging a trench. Affirming the hotel's racism wasn't a once-only show. Charnas had Bayless stand, declare, I am a Negro. Thus, she clarified that her experience was racism and not due to lack of skills or lack of bilingualism. Indeed, she was exceptionally bilingual, but a twisted tongue had been used by the hotel. Given the evidence, Judge Marcel Gabry had to find for the plaintiff, namely Gloria Bayless, he fined Hilton only a token amount, but the fact is heroic was Mrs. Gloria Clark Bayless in being the face of Her Majesty the Queen versus the Queen Elizabeth Hotel. Obscene is the irony, but by taking on Hilton of Canada, Gloria Bayless took a historic step. Her bravura stand saw her triumph 
in Canada's first test case against racial prejudice in employment. Erase this glory? No, never more. She's not nameless. This heroine of equality, namely Gloria Bayless. The end. God bless.